Well, hello, fabulous people. Do you want to find out how you can have that millionaire mindset with eight simple things? Eight. Stay tuned. Well, hello, fabulous. Welcome back. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back to Paradise. So today we're gonna to get into eight simple steps, eight simple things okay, that you can implement in order to have that millionaire mindset and then achieve that millionaire status, right? And I'm also gonna share some books as well that you should read that I've read and I know you're gonna enjoy reading them too because it's really about changing your mindset. So first and foremost, let's get into the first one. Number one is spend less than what you make oh my goodness now because if you have ten dollars and you end up spending 20 you can't get to that millionaire st status so you have to be in control of your money that is number one number two are you ready and number two is avoid the debt plague now if you're using debt as a leverage to generate income great but if you're using it to get things you don't need to impress people who don't really care, you are in that plague and it is a dangerous disease, okay? So that you can leverage, as I said, if it's going to allow you to generate some additional income. Oh my goodness. All right, let's keep this party moving. Let's keep this party moving. Tip number three is to buy low and sell high. Buy low and sell high. You know, oftentimes we hear about the stock market and all these things and we get so excited when we hear when the stock prices have gone up, right? Or investing. And we're like, oh, this is the time to buy, right? Because it's going up and that is not the time to buy, right? That is the time for you to be able to gather more. Your money is increasing, right? That's the time to sell sometimes, but the time to buy is when things are low. When things are low, that means you are getting more for your money and it's going to allow you to generate more, achieve more, have more ownership, right? So that's what you wanna do. All right, let's continue. Number four, listen, you want to, I want you to hear me clearly, okay? I don't want you just to look rich, but to be rich. Oftentimes, you may think that we see these fancy clothes and the cars and all those wonderful things. And guess what? That doesn't necessarily mean that those individuals are rich, okay? It doesn't mean anything. So you can look like I have a, a whole lot of money and don't have $2 in your Louis Vuitton purse. Something is wrong with that picture. That means that things are owning you, then you are owning it, right? So you want to not just look rich, right? And it's okay to look nice. I'm not saying that but you wanna be rich as well. Cause you'd be surprised there's a whole lot of people that look like ordinary, right? If you wanna say that, but have extraordinary bank accounts. Which one would you prefer to have? Just saying. All right, moving right along is number tip six is embrace risk. Now, when it comes to saving and investing, right? You want to make sure that you make calculated risk, right? So it doesn't mean you make decisions as an emotional, not at all when it comes to mathematically, but you make calculated risks, but you do have to make some risks, right? So you want to embrace the risk, okay? Because if you don't, you will sit like this, hoping, praying, like, God, why is it not happening for me? Right, because scared money makes no money. Scared money makes no money. So I want you to remember that. All right, let's keep this moving, right? Tip number seven is take ownership of your finances. That means you have to know what's going in and what's coming out, right? Because if you do not, then it's owning you. But when you realize that you take your time, you have your budget, um, you understand the money game or you learn it, okay? Hence, you really embrace understanding how you can have more ownership, right? When you have more ownership, that means you're putting yourself in the position of having more money, honey. Right? Things are not owning you, you are owning it. And let's go ahead to tip number eight is less can be more. Less can be more. Just because you may have a lot of things doesn't mean that you have a lot of ownership, right? So that's why it's important that you're being mindful of the things that you have, right? If it's not bringing you enough value, 
that I want you to think about, is that something more that you, you need? And one of the things I want you to think about too, is that if you're in a space where you have a whole lot of clutter, right? There's a whole lot of things. You can't think straight, you really can't. You can't see straight, you really can't picture yourself as certain because you have all these things. So that's why it's good to clear things out, right? So you can have more or less, more to, less going out, more can come in for you to receive it. So there's a couple of books that I wanna share with you and you're gonna find them in the description below, all right? And so one that I totally enjoy, and hopefully you can get to, to, to see it, make sure. Oh, there we go, I'm gonna close. Can you all see that one? The light. This one is The Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, Mastering the Inner Game of Wealth. Listen, I read this book and I absolutely love it. Okay, um, I know they show you all these different tricks. So, oh, that's, this, so you maybe got to order like this. It's the lighting. Okay, there we go. I got it. <laughs> okay, uh, now you can see the book. All right, so that was that's one book. The other one is How to Prosper in hard times, right? Blueprint of Abundance by the greatest motivational teachers of all all time. That's Napoleon, James Allen, Joseph Murphy, um, George um, Clausen. Okay, so that's one book. And as I said, it's in the description below. Hey, my fabulous mom, my, my wonderful ladies, rich mom. This is Robert Kiyosaki's wife, um, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Read that one book too. And who's afraid to be a millionaire mastering financial and emotional success? Okay, this is another good one. And if you do not have this, think and grow rich, okay? Think and grow rich, right? Listen, because the word of God says, so a man thinketh, so is he. So a man thinketh, so is he. So it's important that you embrace you know, these amazing books. So one of the best books is the B-I-B-L-E, okay? Because God talks about wealth. And how does he talk about it? He said he desired for us to prosper even as our soul prospered and be in good health. That means that spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially. So I hope these tips um, are very helpful to you because I want you to embrace the millionaire mindset, right? Because this is millionaire money mindset um, moments and this is important to get you to the bag, right? Get you to start that home-based business. Get you even to possibly join me in one of my businesses, right, as a financial service provider, but you can be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So if that is you, and you're just like you're, you're a mom and you want something more for yourself, you wanna start a home-based business, you're not quite sure where to start, where to begin, I'm looking to connect with you. So you will also see in the description below my link that you can book a complimentary 15 minutes to see if we are a good fit and how it can help you to get to the marketplace so you can get out of your mind and into the marketplace so you can have more money to save and to invest, right? And you can keep more of your money because you're designing the life that you want by having your home-based business and the ability to not only that, to work anywhere on that. So with that being said, my fabulous peeps, this is your girl, Teacher Melanie, and like I always say, remember to pray, plan, and believe because God is still in the business of doing miracles. Make it a great day. Bye. Can't wait to see you next video. Go ahead and subscribe and like and what and share. Bye, fabulous.